Good morning once again, grade 9. This morning, you're going to learn about some equations that becomes quadratic. So, meaning to say, these are equations that you need to rewrite in order for it to become quadratic. So, let's have the first example. So, 10 over x plus 1 is equal to 3x. So, first step is we are going to multiply everything by x. Okay, we distribute this. So, x times 10 over x, that would give us 10. And x times 1 is plus x. And we have 3x times x is equivalent to 3x squared. Okay, we are going to rewrite now into standard form. So, we are going to have negative 3x squared plus x plus 10 is equal to 0. Okay, now I'm going to multiply everything to negative 1. So, this would give me 3x squared minus x minus 10 is equal to 0. Okay, this is now the equation that I am going to use. So, you can solve this actually to any method that we had discussed. For this example, I will be using factoring method. Okay, so the factors of 3x squared minus x minus 10 is equivalent to 3x plus 5 and other factor is x minus 2 equal to 0. So equate everything or to the two factors to 0 that is 3x plus 5 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0. So we have 3x is equal to negative 5 divide everything by 3 that is x is equal to negative 5 over 3 and x is equal to positive 2. So the two roots of our number 1 are negative 5 and 2. Okay, let's proceed to our second example. So our second example is x plus 3 over 5 is equal to 2 over x. Okay, this time we are going to multiply this by 5x to both sides. So we are going to distribute. So this would become x times x plus 3 is equal to distribute once again so we have equal to 10 so we distribute the x inside the parentheses so that would give us x squared plus 3x is equal to 10 then we are going to rewrite this this would become x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 again you can solve this quadratic equation using any method that we had discussed. So, again, I will be using factoring method. So, the factors of x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equivalent to x plus 5. And the other factor is x minus 2 equal to 0. Equate the two factors to 0. So, we have x plus 5 equal to 0 and x minus 2 equal to 0. So we have here x is equal to negative 5 and x is equal to positive 2. So these are actually the two roots of our example number 2. Okay, let's proceed to the third example. So the third example, we have there x raised to 4 minus 7x squared plus 12 is equal to 0. So here, if you have noticed our equation, is already on the degree of 4. So we are going to let u be equal to x squared. So applying the law of exponent, x raised to 4 is the same as we could have x squared quantity raised to the power of 2. So we can rewrite that one. So minus 7x squared plus 12 is equal to 0. Now we are going to substitute the let u is equal to x squared. Again, x squared is equal to u. So therefore, that is u squared minus, again, x squared is minus 7u plus 12 is equal to 0. So we are going to apply here the, our, our lessons in quadratic equations. So I'm going to factor this. So this would give me, that would give me u minus 4 and u minus 3 is equal to 0. So, u minus 4 equate to 0, u minus 3 equal to also to 0. So, u is equal to 4 and u is equal to 3. Take note, this is not yet the solution of your equation since we are solving for the x. Okay, now, if u is equal to 4 and u here is equal to x squared, if we are going to 
substitute the value of u that is 4 is equal to x squared. Okay, we get the square root of both sides. Square root of 4 is positive and negative 2. And square root of x squared that is equal to x. Now, if u this time is equal to 3, so the same u is equal to x squared, simply substitute. So 3 is equal to x squared. We get the square root of both sides. So since square root of 3, we cannot get the square root. Therefore, it is just simply positive and negative square root of 3 is equal to x. Now, if you have noticed, our equation there is x raised to 4. It's in the degree 4. So therefore, we also have 4 roots. So we have there x is equal to 2, x is equal to negative 2, x is equal to square root of 3, and x is equal to negative square root of 3. So these are the four roots of our equation. Okay, let's have the fourth example. x raised to 4 minus 6x squared plus 5 is equal to 0. So again, so we have let u is equal to x squared x raised to 4 can be written as x squared quantity squared minus 6x squared plus 5 is equal to 0. So, we are going to rewrite x squared can be written as u squared minus 6u plus 5 is equal to 0. So, this is now the quadratic equation. So, we are going to get the factors of this. So, u minus 1 and u minus 5 is equal to 0. So equate this to 0. So we have u minus 1 equal to 0, u minus 5 equal to 0. So u is equal to 1 and u is equal to 5. So solving for the values of our x, so if u is equal to 1 and u is equal to x squared, we are going to substitute. So 1 is equal to x squared. So we get the square root of both sides square root of 1 is positive and negative 1 and square root of x squared it's only x squared now if u is equal to 5 so u is equal to x squared substitute 5 is equal to x squared we get the square root of both sides so square root of 5 is the same as positive and negative square root of 5 square root of x squared is x so we have here the four roots of our equation are x is equal to 1, x is equal to negative 1, x is equal to square root of 5, and x is equal to negative square root of 5. So these are the four roots of your equation. So that's all for today. Thank you so much once again. Grade 9.